I want you to imagine you're a wedding photographer, but every wedding that you photograph looks exactly the same. Same decorations, same colors, same dress, even the same venue. If the only thing that changed is the people, how would you approach your craft? As Allison shared, one of the biggest gifts we can give our clients and the people around us is not the photos we create for them, but the experience of being seen for who they truly are. Now by seen, I mean to take the time to observe, listen, and connect with the people in front of us, to create a space where our partners or our clients can feel known. Everyone wants to be known and to be seen as their true self. And our photos should represent that. They should share how each one of us is unique and different. It should share the person's unique perspective and story. And the best storytellers begin by immersing themselves in the world of the story. They get to know and understand the people within the world and what they mean to each other. We take this so seriously, often spending weeks getting to know the characters in our films before we ever pick up a camera. This enables us to make the strongest creative decisions and share meaningful perspectives. Now, as you're getting to know your characters, we have two traits that you can think about in getting to know each person. And those two traits are uniqueness and desire. Now, uniqueness is quite simply what makes your character different from others. It's what captures our attention, draws us in, and helps us remember that person. When speaking with somebody, ask yourself, what's the first thing you notice about them? Is it their background, their language, their family, or style? We love asking what's the biggest thing they're proud of, and what gets them most excited? If it's a couple, you can ask each individual what they love about the other person or what makes the other person one of a kind. The other thing we look for is desire. And this is the most important thing that you're gonna find in a character. Now, desire is what your character wants more than what they already have. It's what makes us human and it's what makes us connect to people and emotionally invest in somebody else. When a person has a strong desire, you want to see them achieve their goal. Now, somebody's desire could be to open a business, to get married, or to be the family's first college graduate. Now, the biggest challenge is that we often mistake general information for a specific person's desire. For example, on a wedding day, it's easy to assume that the couple's desire is to get married. But that assumption can limit how much we explore the characters and who the people truly are. And when you Take the time to ask the couple about what they dream of in life, what inspires their passions, or what they want to achieve, you might find out that they long for a grand adventure, or they're looking to forward to growing old together. Or maybe they hope to have a family of seven golden retrievers. You never know unless you ask. And it's our job as the storyteller and photographer to see the person for who they are and what they desire so that we can cover that in the strongest way. So how do you find someone's desire? It all comes back to that idea of listening and being genuinely curious. We love questions like, what is most important to you? What's something that you've always dreamed of doing? What's the impact that you wish to have on the world? Now, remember, people want to be seen and known, and when you genuinely care, simply asking these questions can be an incredible gift. Now, I know you might be thinking this is a lot of extra work just to snap a few photos. But the payoff of getting to know your clients as real people is that your photos will begin to reflect something much more and much deeper about them. You get to be more creative, you get to push yourself to be intentional to include elements in your photos that are relevant to that specific person, or anticipate moments that will bring out somebody's personality. Just like Allison, you have the opportunity to make every photo different and a reflection of that person. And then the result of really seeing is a strong creative perspective that is perfectly unique to you. Want to learn more about developing your creative perspective? Check out the assignment, then post your photos on social media with the hashtag MyFujifilmLegacy and be a part of the conversation.